Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In this lesson I'm going to share my tips for maintaining consistency when you're working with multiple worksheets in an Excel workbook. Let's take a look at a scenario. I'm creating a report for the ABC conglomerate. They want to see sales by product. They have three product lines, software, hardware, and services. I put a fair amount of work into creating the report for the first division, software. I've applied merged and center for the title. I've used the heading one style for the divisions. And I've applied currency with zero decimal places for the cells that will show the sales. And I've used the sum function to total up each of the divisions. Now I want to have a consistent look for hardware and for services. One way to do that is to right mouse click on a tab that you want to make a copy of. Move or copy. Make sure that you check create a copy and then determine the placement inside the workbook. So in this case before sheet 2 click OK. And there you go. I have software 2 and all I have to do to change the title is double click. Let's call this hardware. Hit enter and now I could repeat the process for uh, for services and be complete. Well what if I had 25 divisions? What if I had 50 divisions? Is there another way to do that? Yes there is. There is a technique in Excel called edit fill across worksheets. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to delete that worksheet that we just created. All right. Now, just before we get started, sheet 2 and sheet 3 are blank. I want to be able to edit, fill across the worksheets the work that I have in here for software. First, I want to go into group edit mode. So software is my active worksheet. Hold down shift, click on sheet 3. Up here in the title bar, you see we're in group edit mode. So anything that I do will be uh, uh, copied across each of the worksheets in the, uh, in the group. All right, now here is your gotcha step. When you're going to do edit fill across worksheets, you first have to make a selection. So I'm selecting the cells, the range that I want to fill across the worksheets in this group. Now, in Excel 2007, go in the Home tab in the Editing group, Fill Across Worksheets. Before I click here, if you're in Excel 2003, go to the Edit menu, Fill Across Worksheets. When I click, I get a dialog box. I have three choices. I could copy the contents only. I could fill across the worksheets the contents only, which would be the values and the formulas, or the formats only or I can have both formats and contents. That's what I'm going to do in this case. Click OK and now remember to exit group edit mode. This is your second gotcha step. So right mouse click ungroup the sheets. So now over here in sheet 3 which was formerly blank I have edit filled across the worksheet the contents and the formatting from software. So I show it to the manager. The manager is reasonably pleased but he said what I'd like to also see are the high sales and the low sales. Now in this case I'm going to go again back into group edit mode. Software is my active worksheet. Hold down shift click on sheet 3. Once again, confirm that you're in group edit mode. So what I want to do now here is I want to add in high sale. And I want to add in low sale down here. And for high sale, I'm going to use the max function, equals max. And I'll make my selection of the range. Right mouse click. And now here for the low sale, I use the min function select the range, right mouse click, and now let's autofill across the, uh, the divisions. All right, now of course I'm going to put some other values in there. Let's just put in, uh, and I'll put in here, so you can see the high value and you can see the low sale. Now remember we're still in group edit mode so let's exit group edit mode, right mouse click any of the sheets, ungroup the sheets and you can see for sheet 3 I have the high sale and the low sale. Now before we go any further let's rename these. For sheet 3 let's call this services enter and over here I have the caps lock on. Let's call this hardware 
And something else that I like to do is I like to put a tab color. Let's right mouse click and put tab color and select any color that you want. I'll put red for hardware, tab color, make that green. And for the service, that's going to annoy me, so I'll change that. And now let's put a peach color on here, tab color. There you go. All right, now one advantage of having the tab colors is it's easy to spot the active worksheet. You see, I just get the strip of color down at the bottom for the active worksheet. The other uh, worksheets have the full color swipe behind it. And I can also use navigational tips. If I hold down Control and page down, I activate the next worksheet moving to the right. Control and page up, I activate the next worksheet moving to the left. All right, now in this case, I'm in one worksheet only in software. And the manager said, what I really want to have, Danny, is I want to have um, only the currency symbol for the totals. I want you to remove it for the other cells. So let's use the keyboard shortcut control one, come over here into the format cells dialog box, and let's remove the currency symbol for the uh, cells that are in the body of the worksheet. And I said, oh gosh, I forgot. Got. I was in one worksheet only. So over here in hardware and software, they still have the currency symbols over there. This is a perfect time to use the fill across worksheets. All right, so once again, I want to go into group edit mode. So hold down shift, select the last cell or the last worksheet in the range. We're in group edit mode. Make sure that you make the selection of what you want to fill across the worksheets home tab of the ribbon editing group fill across worksheets in this case remember that what i want to copy across is only the formats click ok click ok and now remember to exit group edit mode and now you'll see that the formatting has been copied over. So there you've learned a really valuable tip. This will really save you a lot of time. It will help you to maintain consistency when you're working with multiple worksheets in an Excel workbook. Edit, fill across worksheets. And that's typical of the tips that I offer on my DVD, the 50 best tips for Excel 2007. And I'll see you in the next lesson.